Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another journey into the unexplained. In this episode, we continue our exploration into the unknown. A journey that will take us deep into the heart of ancient mysteries and otherworldly phenomena. Today, we unravel a story that challenges our understanding of history. A narrative that forces us to question everything we know about the origins of human civilization. This is not just another tale of ancient wonders. This is a story that may redefine our place in the universe. So, settle in, open your mind, and prepare for an experience that will leave you questioning the very fabric of reality. In the arid plains of southern Peru, there lies a mystery so profound that it has baffled scholars, archaeologists, and researchers for decades. The Nazca Lines Vast geoglyphs etched into the earth span over 50 miles and depict intricate designs of animals, plants, and geometric patterns. But these lines are no ordinary creations. Visible only from the sky, their purpose and origin remain one of the greatest enigmas of our time. Imagine walking across the dry, barren desert, the scorching sun beating down on the cracked earth and the vast emptiness stretching out in every direction. To the untrained eye, it might seem like just another desolate landscape. But from above, a different story unfolds. Massive figures of birds, monkeys, and spiders suddenly appear, their outlines traced with astonishing precision. Even more puzzling are the long, straight lines that run for miles intersecting and forming geometric shapes that defy easy explanation. How did an ancient civilization, with no known access to aerial technology, create such precise and vast drawings? The sheer scale of the Nazca Lines raises countless questions about the technological capabilities of the people who made them. Were they using simple tools and ropes to map out these enormous figures, or could there have been some unknown technique now lost to history. The mystery deepens when we consider the fact that these lines have remained almost perfectly preserved for centuries, despite the harsh conditions of the desert. Could these lines be a message? And if so, who were they meant for? Some researchers suggest that the Nazca lines were intended as a form of communication with the gods, a way for the ancient Nazca people to reach out to the divine forces they believed controlled the world around them. Others proposed that the lines were designed to be seen by beings who could traverse the skies, perhaps visitors from another world. The idea that these massive symbols were created for extraterrestrial observers is tantalizing, but it also raises even more questions about the true nature of our past. The Nazca lines continue to be a source of fascination and debate not just for their impressive scale and complexity, but for the sense of mystery that surrounds them. They are a reminder that there are still many aspects of our history that remain unexplained, and that the world is full of wonders waiting to be discovered. The idea that ancient civilizations were visited by extraterrestrial beings is not new, but the evidence is often dismissed as mere fantasy. However, when we examine the legends and myths of cultures around the world, we find striking similarities, tales of gods descending from the heavens, imparting knowledge, and then returning to the stars. These stories, while cloaked in mythological language, could be interpreted as encounters with advanced beings from another world. Consider, for example, the ancient Sumerians, who spoke of the Anunnaki, a race of gods who came down from the sky to guide humanity. Or the ancient Egyptians, who revered the god Osiris, often depicted as arriving from the stars. In Mesoamerica, the Mayans and Aztecs worshipped Quetzalcoatl, the feathered serpent, believed to have come from the heavens to teach civilization. These myths spread across continents and cultures, share a common thread a belief that beings from the sky played a crucial role in the development of human societies. But what if these stories were more than just myths? What if they were based on real events, remembered and passed down through generations? 
Some theorists argue that these ancient gods were, in fact, extraterrestrial visitors who were mistaken for deities by the early humans they encountered. These visitors, with their advanced technology and knowledge, would have seemed godlike to the people of the time, capable of performing feats that defied understanding. The Nazca Lines, according to some theorists, may have been created as a form of communication or tribute to these ancient visitors, an invitation for their return. The figures etched into the desert floor could represent the gods themselves, or the animals they were associated with, drawn in the hopes of pleasing these powerful beings. The straight lines that crisscross the landscape could have been runways or landing strips for their spacecraft, guiding them safely to the Earth. This theory, known as the ancient astronaut hypothesis, has gained popularity in recent years, thanks in part to the work of authors like Eric von Däniken, who have brought these ideas to a wider audience. While the theory remains controversial, it continues to spark debate and inspire further research into the mysteries of our ancient past. Could it be that our ancestors were not alone in their journey to civilization? The Nazca Lines may hold the key to answering this question, revealing a connection between humanity and the stars that has been lost to time. As we delve deeper into the mysteries of the Nazca Lines, we cannot ignore the astronomical alignments embedded within these geoglyphs. Some of the lines are aligned with the solstices and equinoxes, suggesting that the Nazca people had a sophisticated understanding of the cosmos. But was this knowledge gained through observation alone, or was it bestowed upon them by more advanced beings? The Nazca culture, which flourished between 200 BCE and 600 CE, is known for its remarkable achievements in art, agriculture, and engineering. Their knowledge of irrigation allowed them to thrive in one of the harshest environments on Earth, and their pottery and textiles are celebrated for their intricate designs but perhaps their greatest achievement was their understanding of the heavens. The alignment of some of the Nazca lines with celestial events suggests that the Nazca people were keen observers of the stars. The lines may have served as an astronomical calendar, helping them to predict important agricultural cycles, such as the planting and harvesting of crops. But the precision with which these lines were drawn, and their scale, raises questions about how such knowledge was obtained. Could these lines be a map, a guide for celestial navigation, or even a runway for extraterrestrial craft? Some researchers have proposed that the Nazca lines were designed to mirror the constellations above, creating a reflection of the heavens on the Earth. This idea is supported by the fact that many of the animal figures correspond to star formations in the night sky such as the spider representing Orion, or the monkey symbolizing the Big Dipper. If the Nazca lines were intended as a map, then what were they mapping? Could it be that the Nazca people believed in a connection between the Earth and the cosmos, a belief that was shared by many ancient cultures? This cosmic connection may have been seen as a way to communicate with the gods, or with beings from other worlds, who could traverse the stars as easily as we travel across the land. The implications of these questions challenge our conventional understanding of history and push us to consider the possibility of a cosmic connection that has long been overlooked. The Nazca Lines, with their intricate designs and astronomical alignments, may represent a bridge between our world and the universe beyond, a bridge that has been forgotten but is waiting to be rediscovered. Today, the Nazca Lines continue to be a source of wonder and speculation. Despite extensive research, their true purpose remains elusive. Yet, the legacy of these ancient geoglyphs endures, inviting us to look beyond the surface of our world and into the vastness of the universe. Are we truly alone, or have we been visited before by beings from other worlds? The Nazca culture may have disappeared centuries ago, but the lines they left behind continue to capture the imagination of people around the world. These geoglyphs are more than just ancient artworks. They are a testament to the ingenuity and creativity of a civilization 
that was able to thrive in an unforgiving environment. But they are also a reminder of the mysteries that still remain unsolved. Mysteries that challenge our understanding of history and our place in the cosmos. Theories about the Nazca lines range from the practical to the fantastical. Some researchers believe that the lines were used for religious or ceremonial purposes, perhaps as part of rituals to honor the gods or to ensure a successful harvest. Others suggest that they were created as a way to mark underground water sources, a crucial resource in the desert. But the most intriguing theories involve the possibility of contact with extraterrestrial beings, a theory that continues to captivate the public imagination. The Nazca lines may hold the key to unlocking this mystery, a testament to a time when the boundaries between earth and sky, human and divine, were blurred. As we stand on the cusp of new discoveries, we must remain open to the possibilities that lie beyond our current understanding. The lines etched into the desert floor are a reminder that the universe is vast and full of wonders, and that our quest for knowledge is far from over. The legacy of the Nazca is not just one of artistic achievement, but of exploration and discovery. Their lines may have been a way to communicate with the gods or with beings from other worlds, but they are also a message to us, a message that we are part of something much larger than ourselves. As we continue to explore the mysteries of our past, we must also look to the future and to the stars for answers to the questions that have fascinated humanity for millennia. As we conclude this episode, we leave you with more questions than answers. A reminder that the search for truth is a never-ending journey. The Nazca lines, etched into the earth thousands of years ago, continue to whisper their secrets, beckoning us to listen and explore. Whether these geoglyphs were created as a message to the gods, a map for the stars, or something far more mysterious, their enigma endures challenging us to expand our minds and consider the possibility that we are not alone in the universe. Join us next time as we delve into yet another chapter of the unknown, where history, myth, and the unexplained intertwine. Until then, keep your eyes on the skies and your mind open to the mysteries that surround us.